Hello, I'm Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, and I'm proud to represent Washington's 7th Congressional District in the U.S. House of Representatives. This is Congressman Ro Khanna, and I just want to encourage everyone to vote this election cycle. In this moment, nihilism is a luxury, and it's a luxury that we can ill afford. Um, our ancestors, those whose DNA flows through our veins, who have faced everything we face, and oftentimes and then some, always held hope that tomorrow would be a better day. I am so honored to speak with you because all of you at the Muslim Public Affairs Council have been integral partners in our work and our vision to make our country a more inclusive, equitable place that is full of opportunity for all. And you have been essential in our work to root out xenophobia and hatred wherever we see it. As Dr. King said, it always is the darkest before dawn. That, that, that tough times don't last always. And if we band together and are strategic and continue to use our voice, use our platforms, and use our experiences in a way to reflect the world as we want it to be, that world will come into being, but only with our work. You know, I've been in Congress now four years. It coincided with the Trump presidency, unfortunately and there have been highs and lows. We have made a difference with helping to stop the war in Yemen and stopping our refueling of Saudi planes in helping get Amazon workers a $15 wage. But today our challenges are unprecedented because along with these forces of hate, we face a public health and economic crisis on a scale that we haven't seen in our lifetimes. We have lost more than 200,000 people in the United States more than were lost during World War I. And we are seeing unemployment numbers that rival the Great Depression. There has also been a tremendous amount of heartache and disappointment, seeing kids in cages, seeing our country discriminate against people because of their national origin or their faith, seeing this president destroy so many jobs in the working class to enrich Wall Street and his rich friends. I know it's easy to feel dejected, I know it's easy to feel like it doesn't matter to feel the solution. And when we feel that and succumb to those feelings, that means we have already lost. Never forget that there are so many reasons to be hopeful even in these tough times. In the last four years, even as we've seen attack after attack on our democracy, we've also seen a groundswell of people determined to make their voices heard on everything from healthcare and immigration to racial justice. In this upcoming election, it is all on the line. The right to have healthcare coverage, even if you have a pre-existing condition. The treatment of immigrants and Muslims, climate change, racial justice, and criminal justice. Voting rights, it's all on the ballot. Voting is not only exercising your civil right, it is fighting for all of us to have civil rights. We have the agency and we have the ability to, 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 to create a world where all God's children are treated with dignity, a world free of white supremacy, a world free of racism, a world where each and every one of us are afforded the ability to be free and to live a world free of bigotry. Strength emerges in times of crisis, and it emerges because all of us do the work necessary to build that strength and progress with our collective hands. We push boulders up mountains and we succeed because we have to. The real truth is, if we want change for our values, we have to participate in the process. We have to vote. I still have confidence and faith that we will become a multiracial, multicultural democracy with greater economic, racial, and gender justice. But to do that, all of us must do our part. We all must get involved and exercise our rights as citizens to vote. Thank you for what you're doing.